Hi guys, I'm here with another video. I currently, or within the last week or so, went to like my first antique mall and I got some stuff and I figured I would share it with you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I saw a lot of stuff I liked, but I ended up not getting. The first thing I saw that I was like, I was like, yes, I'm gonna spend money on that for sure was this little naked doll. Um, I think it's pronounced Q-Pie, and they're the Q-Pie dolls. So I went ahead, or at least I, I believe it's a Q-Pie doll. That's what it said on the tag. So I went ahead and got it, and if you squeeze its tummy, it... You hear that? So that's what I got. I really, really like it ready to put it up in my room right now, which is why I decided to do the video. He just looks like he wants a really big hug with the person sitting next to you. So I got that. And then and these are objects I actually got after I got everything else I was going to get. Then I was like, you know what? I'm going to go back and get these. So I ran back right before leaving and got these. My family had to wait for me, which I'm sorry about. It took a while longer than I thought. I got this bottle. That's what it looks like. I don't know if you can tell, but like, I don't know what's on it, but it's kind of multicolored. So, um, I was definitely going back for bottles, and um, the bottles I was going to go back for were like five bucks a piece or like nine bucks and I was like dude I don't have a whole bunch of money I want to get a cool and nifty bottle but I don't want to spend five bucks for one so I remember seeing some bottles somewhere else and so I was running to find them and I found these I found these and I think this one was 150 so and my my doll was 16 bucks not too bad and then the other bottle I got because I was okay spending five bucks, but I didn't want to just get one bottle. I wanted to get more than one bottle for five bucks. So the other bottle I got was this one. And I got it because it had the lid on it. And the other, it was between this one and another bottle, which was an ink bottle and it still had the uh, label on it. And I think they were both 350, so this, is, this was 350. It says Horlicks Malted Milk Lunch Tablets on it. Let's see if you can see that. So I got that bottle. And then I'll show you what I got next. They put it in two different bags. Not because it was like a whole bunch of stuff, but just because. I, uh, I collect comics, so these aren't going to be antique comics. They are comics that will fit in my collection I already have that I haven't seen where I usually get comics. Where I usually get comics, it's kind of like first come, first serve. So I have like maybe part two and part four of a story arc type of thing. So these are going to fill out some of those story arcs. So I got um, One Moment in Time, it's Amazing Spider Man. I have, I think, the one after this. Or before this. It might be before. It might be after. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so I got that. I was really happy. There are more than I usually spin on Spider Man comics, also, but since I have not seen them at where I usually go and get my used comics from, I figured it would be okay to splurge a little bit. And then the other one I got was One More Day. And um, this is part one of four, and it's really, really, really hard for me to find the part ones of the series. Like, extremely hard. <laughs> oh. Okay, so, and then these are going to be my last couple ones I'll be showing you. I really like pictures, so I kind of went crazy where the photograph bins were. 
I say sort of went crazy. This is like where I spent most of my money. Okay, clean it out, clean it out. So I got him. Yum. Cute little guy. I decided to get him because he kind of looked like a boyfriend. I was like, here, now he's my boyfriend. I, j I don't know, I just kind of saw him and I was like, I want that. No, I don't want to do that one next. Then I had my nephew there with me and so like we went through bins and I talked to him about like, oh no, I want this. I didn't really care about the exposure. I really cared more about what was in the pictures. As long as I could see it, I didn't care if it was too dark or too heavy, so. The next one is this family portrait. Sorry about the glare. Where are you coming from, glare? Like, is it from, from the ceiling fan? Because there's nothing. I don't know why you're doing that. Anyways. A family on their porch. I really wanted to capture what looked more like everyday moments, so I chose this one because you could see their house, what their house looked like, and their outfits even though they were sitting down. The next one I got was in poor exposure. I chose this one because of the hats and the outfits. This one I'm thinking I might give to my friend, I don't know. It's his birthday soon, but it is some people on trains where their logs, so I debated a very long time of what I was going to get him, <laughs> like an obscenely long time. Ask my nephew. And then I got this baby. I thought he was funny looking. And I also like the um, baby outfits. The unisex baby outfits. Next, I got this one. Again, it's kind of poor exposure, but you see the house, and then there's a guy looking at trees. So I got that because I, I liked the house part. And then I can make up stories about him. Okay, the last of my three ladies. I got her because she's sassy. Look at her crossing her arms. And I wanted one of a woman standing up with her outfit. So you could see like the bustle part and kind of see where the corset goes in. But I got her. And then I got her because I thought she's pretty. So. And then last but not least, the biggest one I got was this lady. And um I got her because I liked her dress, I liked her smile, and, I don't know, she just spoke to me. So, those are all the themes I got at the antique market. I know it's not like a whole bunch of themes and whatnot, but it was my first time going, I was really excited, I can't wait to go again and get teacups or vintage clothing. I almost walked away with like 20 bucks in vintage clothing. Oh, all the, the pictures, by the way, were either one or three dollars. So, yeah. They, they had them from like one to ten dollars in the bins, and um, I stuck mostly with the one dollars, which is the ones with the, you know, iffy exposure. But I, I'm still, or the, the smaller ones, like my boyfriend, he was a one dollar one. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I got at the antique market. I hope you're having a good time, and we'll see you later. Bye!